Hello everybody, welcome on in. My name is Sam Peterson. I wanted to go over some of the manual selection tools. Let's start with the lasso tool. This is about as manual as it gets. You can just select exactly what you want, draw it with your mouse or your tablet, and you can get the selection you want. If I have something where my selection's not quite right and I just need to grab an area like of this ear, I'll just draw it right around there. I'm holding on shift to add to my selection and you can hold on alt or option to subtract from your selection. And that's true of pretty much all the selection tools. You'll also notice we have a little feather option up at the top. So if you don't want a perfectly crisp hard edge lasso tool selection, you can also feather it to get a little bit of a softer edge. Lasso tool can also be used in painting. It's not an uncommon method to kind of get one hard and one blended edge. Also, we have the polygonal lasso tool. If you click and hold on these tools, it will show you more. We have the polygonal lasso tool. If you need more of a hard edge, that can be really useful. You can subtract by holding alt or option just like we did before. Also, the magnetic lasso tool. It's the same thing as the lasso tool. It just uses a little bit of the sticky snapping to try to kind of understand what you're trying to grab. You just kind of do this as you get closer to objects, you'll see it starts to kind of snap into place a little bit. It can kind of aid you if you're trying to use selections quickly. It just really depends what you're going for. So it's a little bit more AI driven there. So marquee tools, that's another very foundational selection tool. It's just rectangle. You can hold out, click and drag to grab whatever you might want. If you hold on shift, you can constrain the proportions to a square. And then same thing as before, you hold on shift to add, hold on alt or option to subtract. And then we also have the elliptical marquee tool. Same thing, you can hold on shift if you want to keep it as perfect circle. And you can also hold on alt if you want to drag and open it from the center. Magic wand tool is nice for me when I need to select quick areas of color. If I have flat colors on my illustrations, I typically do flat colors first, and I'll put those all on one layer. I'll just click that. And for my flat colors, since I'm not using a lot of different shades, it'll just select the whole thing and I can quickly brush onto it and just have that selection. You can also adjust the tolerance. So if we put the tolerance at 10, you'll see, and I'll click the same part of the shirt, it's selecting a much smaller range of colors. It's not being as flexible with the range. If you want to extend the range more, I can do 100. And now it's grabbing more shades beyond just that yellow that I'm clicking. Quick selection tool, it does what it says it does. And I use this a lot for grabbing things quickly. If you click and drag, for example, I could grab this whole sky area pretty fast. It's not going to be as precise if you're just using that as the tools I'm going to show you coming up, but it can be very useful for just grabbing certain areas. Like if I want to select the shirt, I held on shift there to add to the selection. If it selected his arm on accident and that was too much, I can hold on alter option again to subtract from it. But you can see it's kind of snapping into place using a little bit of AI to figure out where those edges are. Quick selection, I use anytime I need something quick, easy to get general selection, but I don't need to mask something out perfectly. I want to show you select subject. Now, a lot of you might be familiar with this, but if I have the quick selection tool selected, you'll see select subject at the top. So let's try that. It's going to use AI to kind of figure out what the subject of this is. And for this image, it's quite easy because it's a clean blue background. I can go into select and mask from here. I can just mask it at this point, but we get a little bit of this blue fringing in the hair. The rest of it actually looks really good because it's a pretty easy image, but let's do control Z, go back. And this is where we can do a little bit of refining. We have our tools over here on the left. We have the quick selection tool. We have the refine edge brush tool. And we also just have a brush tool. With the refine edge brush tool, I can actually just kind of like scrub my mouse over here back and forth over these gaps in the hair where the blue is showing through. And it does a pretty great job about kind of figuring out what's supposed to be there and what's not. And of course, you can combine all these tools. A lot of times I'll use the quick selection tool, and then I'll jump into the lasso tool just to grab a little pixel it missed, refine it. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye.